hey y'all it's empress here and i'm back with another video today um i'm gonna go ahead and read you guys some of the downloads that i got um i only did like 30 minutes of meditation today just because my son had company and um their boys <laughs> so so yeah um they were like, arguing bickering fighting um just being regular boys but it was very distracting um so let's just get into some of the things that i got we're gonna go ahead and invite the holy spirit and our ancestor ancestors in so holy spirit you are welcome here ancestors you're welcome here Thank you. Okay. The first download that I received was a karmic mother um, who was playing with black magic and performing Satanism accidentally it was she she unalived her own father um unintentionally um in order to gain she had to give someone or something that she loved dearly but it did not go as expected and it was not the person who she expected um i also received this karmic mother lied on or lied about a divine child um so that no one would like and or pay attention to this child if she were to cry out for help Constantly having child in isolation and mistreated when let around others. Other witches and warlocks worked with her in the community and also in the child's school. Um, put spell work on the divine child constantly to block and create trauma, obstacles and hardships, confusion, spells. So she was unable to figure out who she was or what she actually liked. Lots of projected um, um, same sex relationships at a young age um, with the karmic younger sister and friends. So that's what I received. I kind of um, talk kind of slow because I want to be able to <laughs> Say what I received, but in a way that will not get me flagged. <laughs> so uh, there's that because um, oh, everybody's so sensitive in 2024. But we're going to go ahead and see what Tarot has to say. I have goosebumps right now. I'm not sure why. Um. So let's see what's going on. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Get off my case, I won't say it. Three of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Be proud, it's okay, you're in love. And we got the Hierophant and the 
whatever you want. This karmic mother did not want this divine child to find out that she was a prophetess, that she was spiritually gifted, I should say. Sucks for her because the way that God works, they found out anyway. <laughs> Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, archangels, and spirit guides that wish to see us walk the highest path for our greatest good. Please allow us to tap into the energy. Tell us what we need to know. Give us some insight on what we should focus on. Thank you. We have the Seven of Wands. So there will be fighting, conflict. We will have to be standing up for ourselves. We got the star card at the bottom of the deck. This fighting could be because someone uh, learned how to balance their emotions and found peace in isolation, found peace in who they are. What else, Holy Spirit? Proud. Okay, my son was just singing that song and now it's stuck in my head. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this karmic family wanted, listen, these karmics, period. These karmics wanted. Um, yeah, what did I just say? What did I just say? <laughs> this karmic, these karmics did not want the, the collective to find out who they were. They didn't want them to find out that they were spiritually connected to the Most High God. We're spiritually in tune, okay? So we have the Ace of Wands and the Hierophant coming out together. This is, God, this is, I'm receiving from this, like, there will be energy expelled into this newfound information of someone being connected to Most High God. Somebody is a prophetess, a prophet, Someone is a healer, a, um, they are connected to spirit and they will be given energy and they will be given a new beginning in this area of their life. Get off my case, I will say it. We have the King of Wands. Yeah, so we will be motivated, strong, protective, loyal, um, proud of ourselves for staying on this journey, um, staying consistent. We have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and these people are heartbroken because of it. They might be like in turmoil. Like if we would have just told her and did right by her, we would have been, you know, we could have, we could have been. But that pride, that greed. There was betrayal. That three of swords could also be betrayal. They betrayed. They betray. They betrayed the collective. Golly, well, they don't want me to talk. And do I care? No, y'all know I don't. 
they were always putting spell work out and witchcraft, black magic to hinder the collective's consistency because they knew they had great potential if they would have if they would have been consistent on a lot of endeavors that they they uh, wanted to go on. It would have been way further than them. They can't have that, right? These karmics is like, mm -mm, she can't be better than me. He can't be better than me. Haters. So they went ahead, started doing black magic, started doing witchcraft. They thought, they thought that was going to help them out. And it did for a time. I was watching this video earlier and the man was explaining why um, the black magic was able to work on us even though we are divine beings, right? So one, it's the environment. Two, um, it's because we were also in low vibration because we had no clue about any of this stuff that was going on in the spiritual realm. You see what I'm saying? And when you are ignorant to things, you are easily fooled. You are easy, you're more easily manipulated, more easily coerced and controlled. So, yeah. Yeah. And because we are consistent, we have energy toward this new endeavor. We are being leaders. We are... Um, connected to the Most High God. We are proud. We are motivated. We will be in this Two of Wands energy with the world at our fingertips and planning ahead. Woo -hoo. Look, Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck sailing into cooler and calmer waters with people who actually love us and who we actually love. Okay? And I love that for us. We deserve it. Honestly, we do. Even when we were low vibrational, we still had good hearts. We never were like malicious or malice or we were just being controlled. We were like little um little puppets. But our intentions were never evil. Our, like we would do what we were told, but we were never like, yeah, that's what you get. Yeah, suffer. Like we were never that type of way. And I love that for us. Do you know how strong you have to be as a person to like not be that way? People think it's strong to be that way. I think the complete opposite. When you are evil and malicious for no reason, you're actually very weak <laughs> because you don't like something about yourself. You dislike something about yourself or you're unable to face something that's going on within you. So you go around and you make people feel the way that you feel about yourself or you try to anyway. Oh my goodness. What's going on with this? We have the six of cups and we got the eight of wands with the lovers card and the nine of wands. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so annoying. I don't know why. It's like part of my personality or something like that. Okay, so we have the six of cups, the eight of wands, the lovers card and the nine of wands. Hmm, let me think about this one. <laughs> so um the six of cups is like memories childhood and um the eight of wands is traveling um that could mean receiving our harvest uh, all the prayers and seeds that we planted are headed toward us the lovers um that's self-explanatory <laughs> And then we have the nine of wands. So um, we are so close to our breakthrough. We're so close to being done with this battle that we are in. These lovers 
are going to be receiving very quickly a love that they dreamt of in their childhood. The battle is almost over for this um, situation. Um, we're going to see what else we get <laughs> because, um, mm, I don't know. That's a hard one. Memories, eight of wands, lovers, and the nine of wands. Let's see. What's at the bottom of the deck? Oh, <laughs> yep. I got it. I feel like I got it because we have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. So that's victory. That's success. That's overcoming. That is being proud of ourselves, being more confident in ourselves. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. I love that for me. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, someone's coming for, someone's coming forward to express how they feel with this Eight of Cups. They're not going to hold anything back. They're going to let it out. Shout, shout, let it all out. <laughs> we have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck as well. So that is bringing in a message of love. So confirmation station, confirmation station. I love when that happens for me. Uh, Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're awesome. <laughs> you're no, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. <laughs> it's like I'm just <laughs> ah. What else, Holy Spirit? Oh, oh, okay. Yep. Because with the Eight of Cups, someone walked away from something that was no longer serving them. And they left them out in the cold. They're looking for somebody that um, can take care of, can take care of house, home, family, money, um, their mind, their emotions, their, just everything. <laughs> Um, so yeah, eight of cups walking away. Say I ain't doing this. Sh I'm, I'm tired of this, Grandpa. These people are out in the cold. Somebody they left whomever this is, the karmics, out in the cold. The ones that were trying to fight us because we chose ourselves. We chose to learn ourselves. Like how dare you be upset that I decide to learn who I am? You're sick. <laughs> and there goes the Queen of Pentacles. You're sick. Confirmation with the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, these people are depressed. They know what they was doing. They only said, they only mad, they only depressed, they only feeling some type of way because we set boundaries and we walked away. They got caught. Can't feel bad for that. You literally cannot feel bad. Someone's in inner turmoil. Mm, my gosh, today. <laughs> so we have the eight of swords, four of cups. Knight of Swords and the Page of Cups. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when I tell y'all, spirit always be doing too much. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, so someone is in their head um, because they were offered something by the Most High God. They ignored it. They mistreated it. They did something wrong. Um, not maybe I shouldn't say did something wrong, but they were worried about other things. Um that literally was no good for them. Um, we have the Knight of Swords, so uh, they will be overcoming this. They still will be moving forward with this message of love with the Page of Cups. Yes, good for them. I love it when we put on our big, our big girl pants or our big boy pants. Yeah, for, for Pentacles because they want stability. They want happiness. Ooh, ooh, 
ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have the Emperor and we have the Tower card coming out together. So this Emperor, mm, who embodies all of the kings, he's a leader, lays foundations, creates new habits, um, sets boundaries. is going through a tower moment. <laughs> he is releasing things that no longer serve him. And we got that with the Eight of Cups. So, so maybe this is the emperor is the, he walked away, he walked away. Or someone could be in their emperor energy, but I'm, I'm with this lover's card and um, he, this Page of Cups, uh, it's, it's feeling more like this emperor is a separate um, a separate a separate energy thank you Holy Spirit and he is going through a tower moment right now because he ignored something that was offered to him by the most high God mm -hmm. he's going through it as I say it's, it's like literally pouring down rain um, outside right now as I'm saying that Oh, poor Buka Black. Poor Buka Black. I still love you. We got the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. But he's moving slowly and deliberately. He's moving deliberately, but it's slow. He's trying to figure out, how can I, how can I, <laughs> how can I make it so, um, I can get this this cup back. And what did I just say? Excuse me. Oh my. What did I just say? We got the six of pentacles and the two of wands out here. So um six of pentacles is giving and receiving, helping those in need, right? But the way they say it in here is assessing what is what is most necessary and providing it, right? See, and that's why I love these. I love being able to look at different variations, right? Then we have the two of swords. So blocking out the outer world, going within to find out what matters. So this person... This person is going to find out what most matters to them. To them, I should say, because energies are fluid. Energies are fluid, right? <laughs> and they will be assessing what is most necessary and they will be finding a way to provide it. They're going to do that by going within and figuring out what's most important to them. Is status and money most important to them? Is love and family most important to them? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out on the next game show. <laughs> no, just joking. We got the devil at the bottom of the card. I'm bottom of the card. We got the devil at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> that dastardly devil. So he could be um, having inner turmoil. He's like afraid because um, he know he was focused on a bunch of hoopla and, and missed that opportunity that God gave him. What else, Holy Spirit? Now he's trying to figure out a way to Baby, come back. I really do love you, girl. Or boy. <laughs> what else, Holy Spirit? I 
up. <laughs> you can't make this up. You literally can't. Look at the two of cups. He wants to give equal, give and take. He wants to pour into, they, he want, listen, he wants a relationship where both people pour into each other equally. Excuse me. We have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. So he could be having sleepless nights. The karmic could be having sleepless nights. But whomever was left out in the cold could be having sleepless nights. But We have the dev we have the devil and the page of pentacles. So uh, this person could be in inner turmoil about bringing a message. Um, about So the Page of Pentacles is about being loyal and happy, fun, ambitious, adventurous. Caring, nurturing. So this person could be in their head about not being able to do this. Not being able to put up what they need to put up. Or maybe they're in their head um, about being, because the Page of Pentacles is also being good at something and presenting that something. So maybe he feels like he's not good at these things. He's never done it. He's never experienced it. Or maybe. Well, if you hear me, or maybe. <laughs> He's bringing sad news. Ciao, ciao. Maybe he got some some bad news, some evil news, some 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 some. Yeah, unfaith. Maybe he's unfaithful. Maybe he has upset. Maybe he has addictions. But these problems can be fixed. Just gotta put in that work. We got the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So um, I'm feeling like this is something that they will overcome. It will be a celebration. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm. I don't know. I'm definitely moving toward the um, 
inner turmoil about not being able, feeling like they're not going to be able to be everything that this person needs. Here's the Queen of Wands. So our charismatic energy draws people with, to us. And sometimes it draws in butterflies and sometimes it draws in gnats. <laughs> we got to be able to discern which is which. We got the King of Pentacles, so um, maybe this person is wanting to build something. We have the Sun card. So there will be happiness, a completion, um, joy, living in light, love. Oh, huh? Not yet. Oh my God. And we got the judgment and the, not yet. Oh my God. And we have the justice and the judgment card coming out at the same time. Won't he do it? He said he would. Fight your battles for you. They gon' wonder how you sleep at night. Yeah, because he's only feeling like this because of something that happened to his childhood. Something that has him feeling away, feeling away. And maybe it wasn't his childhood, but it was in, in the past. Something that happened in the past that makes him feel less than worthy. We have the High Priestess card. She said, sorry if I made you feel less than who you are. A little insecure. Oh, use my shining star I want to spin. We got the High Priestess at the bottom of the card. Duh. So we are aligned mentally, physically, emotionally, baby. We're very knowledgeable. Mm, we might could help this man. Or... Or, or a woman. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. You know, justice and, and judgment are on the way. Or actually, it's here. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It's here. We are ready. We are ready and we are open to receive a blessing from you. Okay. A blessing from you. Ace of Swords, new ideas. New ideas coming in. Go on, you could be my friend. Yes, they're thinking clearly now. They're thinking clearly now. And they're way better with their communication. And I love that for them. And I love that for us. We have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck again. So yeah, maybe they will be aligned mind, body, and soul at this point. They're like, fool you devil, I ain't dealing with you no more. You, you can't have my mind, you can't play with my mind no more. I'm opening up my heart, you can't play with me no more. I can see clearly now, my brow chakra is open. My crown chakra is open. My throat chakra is open, okay? My sacral chakra open. My solar plexus chakra open. I know who I am. My root chakra is open. Yeah. They moving in. Knight of Pentacles, they are moving in. Will of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Somebody's life's about to change. <laughs> Someone's life's about to change. Oh, and look, it just came out. Listen, someone's life is literally about to change. The whole trajectory of their life is about to be amazeballs. We got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They, they're about to receive their destiny. They're about to receive what they asked for. A blessing from you. What else are you spinning? Thank you. 
thank you God for looking out for us in such a way we can't even explain. Yeah, because we see the big picture. We see the big picture and we will be collaborating with others who see the same picture that we see with that three of pentacles and that seven of cups. Queen of cups, we are emotionally balanced, nurturing, loving. Anything else on your Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay. Mm. This is literally going to bring Ten of Pentacles energy. We will be very well taken care of, as well as the rest of our generations. Why? Because with the hangman at the bottom of the deck, we gained a new perspective. We gained intelligence. Four of wands underneath that. There will be a celebration. There will be a marriage. Okay? If you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Um, thank you so much for joining. Empress out. Mm -hmm.